Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. I needed to get inside the manuscript. For months after Alan died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion. The guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in even after he moved out west. Alice's work had consumed the apartment her whole life. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image. And that's when I got myself out of bed and I picked up my camera. shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. 
I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that, that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. Thank <laughs> you. 